Hello, welcome to this seated exercise session based on the themes and characters of Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen's wonderful novel. This is one of four sessions we're doing on this same theme. Uh, each one will develop its exercises in relation to the other sessions, but you can also do each one as a standalone and join us at any point. All you need is a stable chair, preferably without any arms and a little bit of space and to be wearing some comfortable clothes. Uh, all the uh, exercises in this session will be seated. There will be some standing ones towards the end, but always with a seated alternative if you prefer to do that. So uh, I'm going to be playing some music in my house and leading a bit of a vocal session. Luisa and Rosa will be leading fantastic exercises from their homes, so I hope you enjoy it. So hello everyone and welcome to this last of the four Pride and Prejudice sessions. We're going to start with a little warm-up, but before we get into the moves, let's just check again our posture. So, if you're okay, if you don't need the backrest of the chair, just come to the front half of the chair so that you can feel that there's a bit of space between the backrest and your back so that you've got to use your core muscles to keep the spine nice and tall. Let's have a look at our feet. So again, taking uh, the heels forward so that they're under your knees and knees, feet, so toes, hips point forward. And let's just have a little squeeze for the shoulders, release them down, <sighs> take another one and release them down. Good. So in this warm up, we're going to think about Mr. Bennett, who we haven't really looked at that much. So he's now quite content and happy because it looks like things are going to work out after all. And it also looks like several of her daughters will marry and some of them will marry really well. So he's in a good mood. <laughs> So we're going to start by reaching one arm up and lengthening to the side and then coming back and we're going to tap the toe and we tap the other toe. We're going to reach the other arm coming into a lengthening to the side, body dropping the arm down. We're going to tap and tap. We're going to reach one arm across. I could give yourself a hug, but taking a little twist here to your torso. Then we're gonna twist to the other side and take the other arm in. And then we're gonna come back to the center and lengthen the arms to the side. And then like you press the air, we're gonna reach down the arms and just come into a little side reach here. Now take that again to the other side. So twisting with one arm wrapping around, the other arm wraps around, finding that opening across your chest. We're gonna press the arms and come into a little side bend there. Good. Then the music becomes a little bit more swingy, so it has a little swing um, sense and feel to it throughout. But, so we're gonna bounce our heels. And as we do that, we're gonna come into a little swing, just releasing the arms. We're gonna take four swings side to side. And we're gonna press through the feet, press through the sit bones to the chair, just reaching your arms up. And we're gonna drop one and drop two. We're gonna come back into the swings. We'll take four, bouncing your heels. We'll swing side to side. And then push again the feet, push your sit bones down, find that length, reach up. We're gonna drop and we're gonna drop and then coming back. And then we're gonna lengthen one, Foot forward, so if we can really point the toes there, we're going to come into our arabesque arms so that the opposite arm's reaching forward, the other one to the side. We're going to flex the foot, so heel pressing down, toes up, and we're going to flex our wrists as well, really press the heels of the palms forward. And then taking the foot back, take your hands to your knees, and just lifting the shoulders up and roll them back down, taking that to the other side. So lengthening the foot, opposite arm forward, then flex the foot, Flex your wrists, press, take the hands back, take the foot back, and then we'll roll our shoulders and take them down. And that's it. I'm just going to do that to some lovely swinging music that Nia has played for us. So here we go with the music, sitting nice and tall. Thank you. 
and I wish they could all go into their dance. And we'll take them the second time with their hands down here. And then Mrs. Bennett's gonna show all my five girls. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, should um, get married, or otherwise we're all doomed. So we finish with that. One, two, three, four, five, all my five girls. They should all get married or we're all doomed. Okay? That's quite a lot, but we're going to try that with the music, some lovely music that Mia's played for us. Here we go. We'll start straight from the music. Yeah. <laughs> as possible in this last session of Pride and Prejudice and just to remind you before we get going over the movement for this exercise it is based on obviously Elizabeth but her growing affection for Mr Darcy throughout the novel so at the beginning she's obviously pushing him away she doesn't want anything to do with him thinks he's quite rude and by the end of it she's accepting his proposal for marriage so we kind of look at that progress throughout this exercise. We're reaching one hand up and the other hand up and we're pressing our hands forwards and side and side, press away, coming up, press away, coming up. Now from there we had our slap, slap, elbow, lifting up, waving away to Mr. Darcy, other side, one, two, pushing him away looking away from him and waving as he goes and then we came back to that beginning sequence one arm up other arm up pressing side press side push away so lifting up and push away lifting up now we had our step step think about it and then decide nope don't want him near me in other side step step Think about it, hand to heart, press, press, in, in. Back to the beginning. So reaching and press, side, press, side, push away. Lifting up and push away. Lifting up, hands come back down. And we're adding on our um, next section where Elizabeth is thinking more and more about uh, whether she's wrong about Mr Darcy. So this time we're going to press one leg slightly out to the side and whilst we do that you're going to imagine you're listening to what he's got to say and then you're shocked so you're coming up here because you've got it all wrong so you're coming up and then I want you to reach for him and draw everything in and we do that again the other side so you're leaning into 
that leg whilst you're lifting, coming back up whilst you're shot, leaning into it as you reach for him and coming back, closing everything in. And we go back to our reach one arm, reach the other arm, press side, press side, push away, back and push away and back. And now we are finishing with our section where Elizabeth realises that she does actually love Mr Darcy. So we're going to lift our hands up in this high V that we've kind of got in our Lydia march as well. And you're looking, you're kind of twisting to one side. So you lift up here, take a curtsy as if to say you're sorry for misinterpreting um, Mr Darcy. Bring your hand back up, place them down. And then I want you to put one hand on your heart, the other hand on your heart, kind of beat your heart forwards and throw it to him to declare your love for him, all right? Okay, so let's give this a go with some music and really, really enjoy it and dance it as it's the last time we'll be doing it all together. So give it your best shot, here we go. Okay, we've got an eight count introduction, so sitting up nice and tall. revisit our character words and stances for Mr Darcy and for Elizabeth but then we're going to look at the way their stories develop and the journey they go on and the way they change in the course of the book because by the end of the book Mr Darcy has become a little less proud and Elizabeth has become a little less prejudiced and they have most importantly realised how much they mean to each other. So let's just go back to the situation at the beginning of the novel when we had Mr Darcy as this rather proud and yet quite reticent personality and his character word was tolerable. So we're just going to say that and assume our stance, use all the consonants of that word and say tolerable. And then we're going to remind ourselves of Elizabeth's uh, word, which is headstrong, which sums up her sassy attitude to life. So with Elizabeth's strong stance, we're going to say headstrong. Okay, and now we're going to move forward to take a couple of quotes that just sum up the way they have changed by the end of the novel. And for Mr. Darcy, uh, we're going to look at the wonderful moment when he announces his feelings for Elizabeth and he calls her dearest, loveliest Elizabeth. So let's have that in your best Mr Darcy voice and dearest, loveliest Elizabeth. And we're going to pick out one word from that which is loveliest. And it's a lovely word to say. We're going to enjoy the L and the V 
and we're really going to give it heart. So let's pick a different stance to illustrate the way Mr. Darcy's character has changed. And perhaps you might want to put your hands to your heart or put your hands out to Elizabeth. It can be your stance, which is showing a different facet of his character. So here's our word loveliest, ready, and loveliest. Excellent. And for Elizabeth, we're going to go right forward to the end of the book where she writes a letter describing how she feels after marrying Mr. Darcy. And she says, I am the happiest of creatures. So let's just say that quote. And again, let's make a nice open stance, a really happy stance for Elizabeth at the end of the book. And we're going to say, I am the happiest of creatures. Ready? I am the happiest of creatures. And let's pick out that very obvious word, happiest, from that quote and do a massive happy stance, as happy as you can make it, just with that word happy, ready, and happy. Wonderful. So just to finish, we'll run through our Mr. Darcy proud word and Mr. Darcy loving word, our Elizabeth strong word, our Elizabeth happy word. And we're just going to chop through those now and starting with Mr. Darcy's proud word, tolerable, ready, and tolerable and then we're going to go straight to his happy loving word loveliest loveliest and now to elizabeth and her headstrong and headstrong and to finish the most euphoric happy you can do and happiest happiest wonderful thank you very much Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to make some um, moves uh, to the dialogue between Mr. Collins and Elizabeth when he is proposing her. So we start with the first line. We're going to be Mr. Collins and he is going to say, would you be my wife? And for that, we're going to do hands from our heart. Let's, would you, reaching to Elizabeth, so would you be my wife? So that's hands to the heart. Would you be my wife? Um, and then Elizabeth is saying, I thank you, but no. And for that line, we're going to do I, and then thank you. So we're going to go, I thank you, but no. No, let's do but no. So Elizabeth is going, I thank you, but no. So we'll go, will you be my wife? I thank you, but no. No. Okay. So the next line, Mr. Collins is going to say, you can't mean it. And for that, we're going to say you, and then we're gonna say can't mean it. So we say, you can't mean it. And then Elizabeth is going to reply, I am perfectly serious. And she's gonna go, I am, and we're gonna do perfectly serious. So I, uh, I am perfectly serious. And then Mr. Collins is saying, uh, you will surely change your mind. And for that one, we're gonna go, you will surely change your mind. So that's, you will surely change your mind. Good. And Elizabeth's going, no. 
Okay, we're going to do these lines now into a little dance and you can again decide whether you want to be a um, Mr. Collins or Elizabeth um, or if you like you can even do both um, and we're going to um, do this twice through like a sequence twice through we'll try that with some music <laughs> Now from there you're going to look again to one side 
and you're going to shake your head and think, no, there's nobody else for me. Coming back, looking the other way, and you're going to flick your hand, okay, as if to say, no, again, no one else for me. And then we've got our toe in, toe in. And this time we're doing the same action, but we're imagining we're saying he's not rich enough over there. And we've got a heel in, heel in, and he's not strong enough. And then we've got our toe in, toe in, he's not handsome enough, and heel in, heel in to the person in front of us. We'll say, you've got it all. And then we'll bring one hand into our chest, other hand into our chest, reaching forward, really, really reaching here. And then you're going to let your arms drop and we'll swing for four, three, four, then you're going to reach your hands all the way forwards again, running down as your hands come down, and we finish by throwing. Okay, so after that recap, let's give it a go once through today with the music, and although it is quite fast, just really have a bit of fun with it, enjoy it, and uh, enjoy Mia's playing as well. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, head. Five, six, seven, eight, and 
just have a little bit of a shake through our legs. We've got to shake our arms out in that, but just give your legs a bit of a shake before we come to stand. And we will bring our legs underneath us slightly for those of us that would like to stand today. You can absolutely stay seated if you'd like to. Um, but if you want to stand, pressing through your hands, through your thighs, coming up to stand. And then having a bit of a pedal through your feet and making sure you're feeling nice and stable. And then we're ready to come to the back of the chair. So just take your time um, to find your way. And I will again also show the seated version. So we'll come into our plie exercise. So we're going to do that plie exercise with uh, Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth. We start with Mr. Darcy uh, greeting Elizabeth and this time there's something between them so they quite like each other here. So he's going to just reach and take his hand to his heart and take a bow. It's a bit happier here. And then Elizabeth is taking a curtsy but this time we're not going to look away, we're just going to look straight into his eyes and here they are now dancing together and we're going to be Elizabeth first so we'll think about dancing with Mr. Darcy so we're going to sweep the hand forward with a plie and push like we push our hands with Darcy here like we've done we're going to sweep back the arm and then we're going to just take it back to our hand as to show that we actually care for him we're going to take that to the other side reach Press the hand, take another plie, sweep the arm back and then take it to your heart and we're going to look into Mr. Darcy's eyes here and lowering the hand. We're going to come into a rise, so finding that engagement in your centre here for your balance, we're going to rise, heels up and lowering down and then we're going to longingly reach towards Mr. Darcy, taking our hand back, we'll take that to the other side, rise, down, we're going to reach to Darcy and come back. Then we're going to come into um, being Mr. Darcy. So here they, that's squatting back, but as we do that, this time we're going to, if you're okay taking one hand off, we're going to blow a kiss to Elizabeth and coming back. And we're going to do our dance step, but this time we're going to be a bit more jolly because we actually like her. We're going to take another squat back, blow a kiss to Elizabeth there. And we're going to take our taps. And then he's going to rise as well. And then we're going to come into our um, heel balance. So reaching your toes up, just finding that engagement in your core. And we're just going to look into her eyes here. Rising up and lifting the toes. Good. And then we'll have our swing here. So we're going to go, if you want to let go of the chair, we'll have two lots of eight. Like we're dancing together happily here and then we'll make it smaller to come back and so we're going to be Darcy first and we're going to take the balance sweep the foot up take it down and show I quite like your looks you're so beautiful and then Lizzie is going to lift up the other foot balance and so I also quite like you and take the hands to the heart let's do that with some lovely music so we start with the music, reaching the hand, taking a curtsy, starting with Lizzie dancing with Darcy, press, sweep back, and hand to your heart, and we'll go to the other side, and sweeping back, and heart, rising up. Darcy. 
we are going to recap our Mr Wickham uh, standing exercise that we whizzed through last week. So we, as I said, we will recap the movement now and then put it to some music um, and have a good old dance. And you can always um, go back and look at the Lydia March that we did as well in weeks one and two. And if you're lucky to have somebody around, um, you can always have a bit of a dance together by one of you playing Lydia and the other Mr. Wickham. But anyway, let's have a little recap today. We are beginning in our parallel position, standing up nice and tall. And we're going to begin with a brush on one shoulder and a brush on the other shoulder. And we're taking one hand out to the side, drawing it across towards our shoulder taking a bow and coming up nice and tall here. Good. And from there, we're going to show off our muscles. So we're bringing one arm across our body and muscle, and the other arm and muscle. And then we've got that cha-cha-cha step, so our three step, which you can take forwards or on a slight diagonal. So we're stepping forwards, back, together. And then we're going to change our arms to our hips and we're going on the other diagonal using the other leg or moving forwards with the other leg. We're stepping forwards, back, together. We do that again, changing our arms up to muscles, forwards, back, together, and forwards, back, together. One more time, forwards, back, together, and forwards, back, together. Now from there, we're going to do exactly the same march that we do in the Lydia section where we've got eight marches and on the eighth march, we've got a tap so that foot starts to walk again. So we took this on a bit of a pathway last week, which you can continue to do for this version if you'd like to. But also please remember it's absolutely fine to keep it on the spot if you'd prefer to do that. It's completely up to you, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, so I'll just take it on a pathway for those of you that want to do that. We're starting with our right foot. We're marching right, left, right, left. Then we go towards the right with our right foot. Right, left, right, tap. Then we go backwards with our left, right, left, right to the left, right, left, tap. Now from there, we're going towards our right side. We're going to bring one hand to our waist, twisting towards that side, and the other hand is going to come across to our shoulder again. And then we've got our four slow walks, and as we do that, our arm that's on our shoulder is going to open slowly, okay? So we've got four slow walks from here in a circle. One, two, three, four, and then we're floating our arms down, back to do our marches again, our eight marches. So if you'd like to take it on a pathway, we're using the left foot first this time, and then we're going to our left, backwards to our right. So we're going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, tap, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right tap, turning towards our left, our right hand comes to our hips, our left hand comes across our body to our shoulder, and then we're walking slowly for four, opening that arm and coming down. And then we've got a clap, and hands to hips, and then we're pressing one hand forwards with the heel of the hand pressing as though you've got your partner meeting your hand there. And then we've got our cha-cha step again. So we're taking that on a diagonal or forwards. We've got forward, back, together. Then we do that again, clap to your hips, press with the other hand, taking it the other way. Forwards, back, together. And clap, hips, press, and step forwards, back, together. And then we finish here by taking our hand out to the side, taking a bow, and this is when Lydia is blowing a kiss. So after we've bowed, we're going to reach for that kiss that she's blown us and catch it to finish. All right, so let's give that all a go with some music and see how, how we go. But as it's our last time, it's our last session today, just 
I encourage you to really enjoy yourselves. If you're struggling with a part, um, you can just take it easy. For example, the pathway, just keep it on the spot if you prefer, so that you can just really have fun with it and enjoy, enjoy dancing to the music. All right, so let's try it. Brush, brush one hand out, across, taking a bow, and down, one muscle, and the other one, cha-cha, one, two, three, hands to hips, again, one, two, three, one, two, three, last time, and one, two, three, marching, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, tap, left, two versions on the screen so you can decide but if you do choose to come back down to a seat just making sure you're um, coming down safely by pressing your bottom towards the back of the chair in that kind of squat position and lowering yourself gently and um, when you're when you're seated just having a check of your feet if you are seated if you're standing again making sure you're in parallel position and we'll just do a really gentle cool down to conclude our Pride and Prejudice sessions. Start with a roll of our shoulders and again and let's roll them forwards and again forwards. Good and finding our shoulders with our hands drawing circles with our elbows Let's bring our hands up and 
much for joining us today and for dancing with us. I hope you've enjoyed the last four sessions of Pride and Prejudice and you've had a bit of a laugh and a bit of a giggle along the way as well. Um, we hope to be back soon with more videos and we will keep you all updated with that. Um, but in the meantime, take care of yourselves and we look forward to meeting you all again soon.